In this video, we're going to create far caverns to fill in these cavern holes. So to do this, we're going to basically create another tile map for our far ground. So let's go ahead, or this is gonna be more so our background. So let's go ahead and create a new grid. And we'll go to right click grid, 2D object. We're gonna to go to tile map. That's gonna create another tile map layer. And let's call this far caverns or far ground. So here we have Farground underscore tile map. Once we've done that, we want to go ahead and reorder these. So we want our ground tile map to be forward. So what I'm going to do is set this. We want our far ground to be basically zero, our mid ground tile map to be in front of that. So we're going to set it to one. And then our ground tile map is going to be furthest. So we're going to set it to two. The higher the number, the further in front it is. So now we have back to our normal state. And let's go ahead and actually paint in our far ground. So if you look at our far ground here, we have these caverns. And what we can do here is we can basically just take one of these and you can paint them in here and just like this. Now, we don't want to start painting now. You always want to make sure that you are on the correct layer. All right. The layer that we should be on is not the mid ground layer, but the far ground layer. So control Z to undo that. Change your active tile map to the far ground layer. And now you can see here it paints it behind it. And that's exactly what we want. So I'm going to go ahead and just basically take this, paint that in there. And from here, we're going to basically take one of these corner pieces and we're going to fill in the rest of the area. I'm just going to paint in the spots that we can see around the cavern. And as you can see here, we've added a sort of depth to it. Now later, we are also going to actually be changing our camera to a perspective mode so that we can actually create a form of parallax. But for now, we have our far caverns in there. So let's go ahead and create another one. Let's go ahead and take this and let's add that one maybe back here. So we'll add one there, maybe up here. And we have this little one here. All right, and then we'll take the corner piece and we just fill in what isn't already filled. Alrighty. So one thing if we wanted to, we can actually go ahead and let's look at our this middle cavern here where it's kind of just the background. What if we wanted to add another cavern into this one? We could totally do that. Let's go ahead and go to our active tile map and switch to the mid ground. And let's grab one of these caverns. So we're going to go ahead and take a half here. And I'm going to actually just import put this and let's shift it over a bit. So it's going to look like that. And then let's grab the other side. And there we go. So we've just created another cavern within it. And what we can do now is we can go to our far ground and we can add in another one of these guys. So let's go ahead and make sure I get this whole sprite. And now we can paint this in. We'll grab the corner piece and we'll fill in the rest. Okay, that looks pretty good. So that is our overview of creating new tile map layers, working with the palette system and basically painting our levels. In the next video, we're going to add a little bit of vegetation.